evening time in Paris, Driss, Sai, is driving Philippe's, close it, Maserati Quattroport at high velocity. Pursued through the roads by the police, they are in the end cornered. Driss claims the quadriplegic Philippe should get to the trauma center earnestly, Philippe professes to have a seizure and the tricked cops escort them. Subsequent to showing up at the medical clinic, Driss drives away. The tale of kinship between the two men is then told as a flashback, Philippe, a rich quadriplegic proprietor of a lavish hotel particulier, and his colleague Magali are meeting possible live-in parental figures. Driss has no desires to get recruited, he just goes to get a mark on a record demonstrating his meeting was dismissed, to keep accepting his advantages. He is told to return the following morning to gather his marked archive. The following day when Driss returns, Philippe's assistant Yvonne welcomes him, letting him know he has the work on a preliminary premise. Notwithstanding being uninterested and unpracticed, he truly does well focusing on Philippe, though utilizing eccentric strategies. Driss learns the degree of his boss handicap, supporting Philippe in each part of his life. A companion of Philippe's uncovers that Driss was detained for quite a long time for burglary, however Philippe couldn't care less about Driss' past. As Driss is the one in particular who doesn't treat Philippe with feel sorry for, he won't fire Driss as long as he takes care of his business appropriately. Philippe makes sense of his handicap came about because of a paragliding occurrence and that his significant other kicked the bucket without bearing kids. Bit by bit, Driss assists him with coordinating his confidential life, including restraining his intelligent took on girl Elisa. Driss finds current workmanship, drama and starts painting. For Philippe's birthday, a confidential traditional music show is acted in his lounge room. Philippe instructs Driss on well-known traditional pieces, however Driss just remembers them as advert music or animation subjects. Feeling the show is excessively exhausting, Driss plays Earth, Wind and Fire's Boogie Wonderland, spicing up the party, with the visitors additionally partaking in the music. Finding Philippe has a simply epistolary relationship with a lady called Eleanor, who lives in Dunkirk, Driss urges his manager to meet her, however Philippe fears her response when she finds his handicap. Driss persuades him to converse with her by telephone. Philippe consents to send a photograph of himself in a wheelchair to her, however he delays and asks his assistant, Yvonne, to send an image as he was before his mishap. A date between them is concurred, however without a second to spare, Philippe is excessively terrified to meet Eleanor and leaves with Yvonne before she shows up. Philippe then calls Driss, welcoming him to fly with him in his Dessau Bird of Prey 900 personal luxury plane for a paragliding end of the week in the Alps. Driss' more youthful cousin Adam, in a difficult situation with a pack, comes to bring Driss at the chateau on the guise of conveying mail. Catching wind of, Philippe perceives Driss should be strong to his family and delivers him from his work, proposing he probably shouldn't push a wheelchair for his entire life. Driss gets back, joins his companions and figures out how to help his more youthful cousin. Meanwhile, new guardians have supplanted Driss, yet Philippe isn't content with any of them. His confidence is exceptionally low and he quits dealing with himself. He grows a facial hair growth and looks sick. Stressed, Yvonne gets back to Driss. Upon appearance, Driss drives Philippe in the Maserati, which takes the story back to the underlying police pursue. After they evade the police, Driss takes Philippe to the ocean side. Upon Philippe's shaving and dressing richly, they show up at a Cabourg cafe on the ocean front. Driss out of nowhere leaves the table, saying best of luck to Philippe on his get together. A couple of moments later, Eleanor shows up. Sincerely contacted, Philippe glances through the window and sees Driss outside, grinning at him. Driss says goodbye to Philippe and leaves as Philip and Eleanor talk and appreciate each other's conversation. The film closes with shots of Philippe Pozo di Borgo and Abdul Selu, individuals on whom the story is based, together on a slope, suggestive of the paragliding scene prior in the film. 
The end inscription expresses that the men stayed dear companions right up till now.